grief. <laughs> Even saying the word causes me to want to put both hands over my heart in protection. As I was pondering where we would go today during our intentional time of meditation and contemplation, I felt very strongly that it would be towards that deep and often a scary emotion of grief, that feeling of loss, emptiness, aloneness, loneliness, sometimes unfairness and devastation. Grief holds so much, doesn't it? And yet, if we're being honest, it is part of this human journey that we are on. There's a song that I listen to and the singer, lyricist, says something along the lines of, I have a experienced some of the most beautiful days, some of the most horrible days, and all have been miracles to me. Hmm. So today, I want us to travel into the heart. I would invite each and every one of us to take that brave journey of traveling into the heart, the heart of grief, the heart of our feelings, loss and devastation, to really feel them, to allow them as the visitor that they are. Now, that said, I need to let you know that I think they're visitors that never quite go away. As I was researching grief, on the internet I found that there were some sites that said, hey, how to overcome grief. And I didn't even bother going there because, well, from my own experience, there's no such thing. You don't overcome grief. You don't ever stop experiencing grief. What happens is that life grows around the grief. You change. You, you morph and grow around the loss. Life gets bigger around the loss, but the grief always stays the same. My daughter is an artist and recently had an art exhibit. And it was called Absence. And it was born of her own grief journey. This, oh, I think it was last summer, August of 2023. She lost her beloved cat of 14 years, her best friend, really. And I think that she was knocked off her feet, so surprised at the grief that just wouldn't, oh gosh, leave, be processed. It was almost like this, this deep, deep feeling she couldn't even quite tap into adequately. And so for her, painting was helpful. And so each of her paintings showed this beautiful picture of herself with her baby, her cat, but the cat was in red, outlined in red. So the cat wasn't there anymore, but she herself was still holding this precious, love. I don't know whether red meant sadness, anger, frustration, hopelessness, grief, or the heart. 
but the cat was outlined in red, the absence so obvious in every single one of the photos. And, and she was really quite uh, talented in, in that the rest of the photo was a blur. So it was just her, her loss, and the rest of the photo was just blurry. There wasn't anything else in that moment. Nothing else made sense, nor did it matter. Just the grief that she held in the absence of love. Well, she has grown to understand that Esther is still with her. Sometimes she'll say, Mom, I think I see Esther out of the corner of my eye. And I say, I believe that. <laughs> I don't think our loved ones ever go away. They just are not any longer in this particular frequency. The one that we can mm, uh, see, hear, sense, taste, feel, touch, all that with our physical senses. But they're still there. Yeah. For sure. Well, I've laid quite a groundwork, and if you're still here with me, thank you. I thought that we would journey today just as far as what feels safe for you because it's deep. And so we'll go just as deep as feels right to you, feels enough for you. And I'm believing that as you've reached your limit, as you've reached that outer edge of ability in this moment, that your body will start to fall asleep if need be. So just allow, allow the sound of my voice to lead and guide you just as far as feels right. And allow your body to To receive the download of peace. Mm -hmm. That's what this download is. It's a peace that surpasses understanding. Because to be able to get up the next day after a loss, it just doesn't make any sense. It shouldn't be able to happen. And yet we do. We go on. We go on in spite of the loss. Sometimes we go on because of the loss, but for sure we go on amidst the reality of the loss. And we allow our minds, our hearts, our bodies, every part of us to grieve, to sense that loss. Whether it's the death of someone, the death of a dream that we had, the death of things the way that they were supposed to be. That's my little baby girl, Gia, in the background, barking. She has been such a light for me. We'll allow it, right? We'll allow it. Our animals cause us a lot of, bring with us a lot of such joy, unconditional love. So I'm believing that Gia is here to add to the unconditional love and peace on our journey. So here we go, my love. Here we go. Just find a comfortable place. Find a comfortable position. May it be something that you could maintain. You could fall asleep in this position, okay? You could just fall asleep, drift off if need be. No need to stay aware and make sure you're getting it all. Your body will receive just as it is meant to receive. So just allow. There's nothing for you to do. The boldness to open your heart, to stay, that's all. And that's a lot. So find that comfortable position. 
And then we'll just take a few breaths to center ourselves, to come back into that safe place within us. Or when we're grieving, sometimes it's easier just to leave, to allow that chi energy to really get small. And so today we're allowing it to expand and take up all of our space in our bodies and out into our auric field as well. And so a breath in for four, three, two, one, hold seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and a gentle release, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Breath in through the nose, four, three, two, one, hold seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, whoosh, breathe out through the mouth, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Mm. And our third breath, breathing in through the nose, four, three, two, one, hold seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, whoosh, breath out, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. We'll take just a moment to create that Sankalpa. And it can be something of your own heart's intention, or altogether we can agree that at least part of our intention together today is to allow grief. And so you can imagine yourself putting your hands over your heart, and you can imagine yourself almost kneading that heart muscle, like um, massaging it almost, that heart muscle. And any of the areas that are rough or calloused or closed off and tight, you're just imagining yourself going in and massaging gently with a beautiful smelling oil. Maybe it smells like lavender or lemon balm or chamomile. Maybe it smells like sage. I love allspice, so sometimes I'll have things smell like allspice, cinnamon, and nutmeg, and all of those beautiful flavors. So imagine yourself kneading so gently the outer parts of your heart and allowing that blood to flow even deeper in and through the heart muscle. And then metaphorically into the heart chakra that you would imagine it opening, opening, and opening, and allowing grief to be felt, for the visitor of grief to be acknowledged and welcomed for just this bit of time. I allow grief. Oh. I allow my body to experience the grief. And maybe tears will come and maybe Screams of agony will come, maybe moaning and whatever it is, allow it. Allow the energies of grief to move through your physical form, through your body. I allow grief. I allow 
grief. I allow grief. And maybe you can imagine yourself now wrapping your arms around yourself. And maybe there's a person in your life who is so tried and tested and true and trustworthy and safe, safe space. And you can imagine that they are there with you and they are holding you and they are whispering into your ear, you are safe to feel the grief. I am here with you. You are not alone. Together, we are experiencing the emotion of grief because you've allowed the memories to be experienced and remembered fully embraced, not analyzed, but actually lived. That left brain of logic and analysis can take a nap. And the right brain of creativity and deep emotions and artistry and shapes and colors and fantasy and dreams Oh, it's allowed to come on out and play in all of its fantastical, mystical, magical beauty. And as you are so safely held by yourself or by a significant other, Let's just take a moment and focus on the body so that we can bring your chi, your energies, your life force all the way back down into your body. So focus on all the toes on your left foot, all the toes on your right foot. Wiggle those toes. The bottom of your left foot, bottom of your right foot, and wiggle the toes again. Top of the left foot, top of the right foot, left heel, right heel, left ankle, right ankle. And now wiggle your toes and maybe move your ankles around just a little bit. And now focus on your left shin and left calf right shin and right calf, left knee, right knee, left thigh, right thigh, left butt cheek, right butt cheek, left hip, right hip, the perineal wall, it's where you pee and poo, the area between the left hip and the right hip, pubis all the way across. And then the very top of the glutes, right there at the low back, top of the glutes from hip to hip. Focusing now on your low back very tip of the spine, the left waist, the right waist, left ribs, right ribs, left shoulder blade, right shoulder blade. Focus your attention from the bottom of the spine to the middle of the spine to between the shoulder blades and all the way up to the neck, the entire spine. And now your left top of the shoulder, right top of the shoulder, 
your left upper arm, your right upper arm, left elbow and right elbow, left forearm, right forearm, left wrist, right wrist, left back of the hand, right back of the hand, left palm, right palm, left thumb, right thumb, left fingers, right fingers. And allow yourself to move the fingers and the thumbs and the wrists just a little bit, encouraging that life force chi to move its way all the way out to the ends of your fingers. And we're going to take another breath in. Four, three, two, one. And now we'll hold seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And release. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one and one. Take just a moment to be still here and focus on the heartbeat. Focus on the beat of your heart. Can you feel it in there? Ba-boom. Ba-boom. Just getting still for a moment. Focusing on that heartbeat. And now we'll place our focus on the chest, on up to the neck, throat area. Move your focus up to the jaw, lips, teeth, tongue, roof of the mouth your left cheek, your right cheek, left eye, right eye, nose, left brow, right brow, forehead, right between your brows, Left ear, right ear, the back of the head, and your focus is on the very now top of your head at the crown. And if you're still awake and aware, you just want to feel that life force, chi, vibration, energies flowing through all of your physical body now. Encourage it from that heartbeat space, pushing, pushing that life force out and receiving that life force back into itself. Like it's this in, out, give, take, in, out, allow, receive. Push, pull in, out, back and forth, kind of volley of in and out, in and out. And as you allow this, imagine it going out even further past your physical body by about one foot and then coming back in to the center of your body. And then again, going back out, out about two feet, and then flowing back in towards your center. And then flowing back out about three feet now, enlarging your chi, your aura, your life force, and then allowing that to come back into center. And it's this constant influx, outflux, influx, outflux of energy, motion, 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 movement being allowed. 
cleansing, healing, no more stagnation, movement. Returning to the stillness, returning to that, becoming aware of the beat of your heart within your physical body. And just the beautiful sound of that heartbeat. the nostrils to receive the air that the universe is offering to you without any effort on your part. You can receive the air, breathe it into your body. Your body will do what it does, no effort on your part, and then you can just exhale in a most natural way, no effort. Inhale the air the universe offers you. Allow the body to process it and exhale as it feels so natural to do. Just allow. This is a peace that surpasses understanding. This is just breathing, this is staying, this is allowing, this is becoming more and more aware of what's really there. The air around you, the birds singing in the background outside of my studio, the gentle rain that falls from the eaves because it rained this morning. And in this way of becoming more and more aware of what's going on, and in this place of such peace that surpasses understanding, we allow other vision other than just our two eyes to be able to see, to open, that we would have vision for what is there, but we can't see with the eyes of our physical body. The eyes of the heart, some people call it. The eyes of the spirit. The eyes of our light body. That sees that our loved ones, our dreams, the way that things that we thought that they should be but weren't, all those things never really left us. Never really disappointed us. That there's a perfection in all of the pain. And we've experienced the most beautiful days as well as the most tragic, the most horrible, the most terrible, the most terrifying. And in some way beyond our understanding, but something that only the heart can wrap itself around, there's a beauty to it. There's a perfection in it. There's a refining of ourselves through it. But it's when we allow ourselves to feel, to be in our bodies fully. Hmm. That's when, that's when we are most alive. It's the most brave thing indeed to allow ourselves to feel. But at the depth of the grief, we make room for a depth of love like we have never experienced before. At the height of all of the grief, there is a height of love 
There's a height of peace and a height of joy that can be experienced. Same coin, two different sides, and one isn't good and one isn't bad. It's just that one's heads and one's tails, but they're the same coin. Mm. And the appreciation that we glean when we really allow ourselves to grieve. Knowing two different paradoxical things. One is that nothing ever really dies. It's never gone anywhere, but just in a different frequency. But the second thing is, is that yes, things do pass and transmute and transform. And I'm sure all the caterpillars are grieving their friends who turned into butterflies, not realizing that that's their destiny as well. (laughs) But that their friends didn't go anywhere, they just changed form. Mm. Mm. So as we allow ourselves to continue to land in our bodies, to center and to ground into this body, I encourage you to spend some time in this next week, especially especially if you're able to get outside. Get outside. Find yourself literally rolling in the dirt, sitting in the mud, putting your feet in the sand, putting your hands flat on the grass, putting your back right up against a big old tree and see yourself become one with Mother Earth. Allow yourself to melt and meld right into Mother Earth as if there is no separation. Let her hold you. Let her envelop you. Mm. Let her ease your pain. Let her share your grief. Oh, courageous soul, thank you for this time together. You know, you can come back to this meditation over and over again as often as feels good. As my friend Danielle says, as often as feels beautiful. As often as feels beautiful to do so. Know that you are loved endlessly, deeply, past, present, future, outside of time, where you truly exist, that you are peace, that you are joy. And so we'll end with our Sankalpa today. And then I bid you farewell and great peace. As you shake that body around a little bit, perhaps you would find both of your hands over your heart and you would speak aloud the following. I allow grief. I allow authenticity. I allow vulnerability. I allow raw nakedness. I allow my most authentic self to emerge. I allow my most genuine iteration to appear. 
I allow myself to look in the mirror and see me for the very first time as who I really am. I allow the deep emotions like grief. I give room to the depths within me. I make time for the depths of my experiences. And I breathe knowing that there is nothing to do, nowhere to go, nothing to have to be and attain to and maintain and figure out. There is only being still. There is only breathing. There is only being still. There is only breathing. Peace be with you. Peace be in you. Peace erupt from the depths of you as you. And so it is.